What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a good day. Folks, I said there's a part two to the last video I did, which is Curiosity, Sol 953. We're going to show you another part not far from the section we already analyzed. Let's not waste any time. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, folks, here it is. Uh, you can see in the same GigaPan we used last time, and it says Curiosity, Riding in the Ruins. I don't know if he put that himself or he got that from NASA, JPL, whatever reason. It's kind of funny how it just says that because um, that couldn't be more spot on if it wanted to be. And again, thank you, Keith Laney, for your work. We do appreciate you. And again, this is uh, uploaded on January 11, 2017. Now, let's get into the photo. Let's go ahead and do this. Make it full screen. Let it drop down. Now, folks, this is the area we looked at, okay? We'll do it right about, let's see, right about here is where we did it. What we're going to do is we're going to slide to the side, right to the right. Now, it's funny, it has this weird divot in the ground, like something was like either bombed or something fell or caved in, one of the two or three. Now, what I found interesting is I'm looking at this here and I'm going, what is this mess right here? All I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in right to the very middle of this pile, and right here, there seems to be some kind of weird square object right here. But of course, they did their best to take this stuff out with some manipulation, some of their CGI work, if you will. But it's actually got height to it. Another one here, just above it to the left. We have something right here. You can see it looks like some kind of weird uh, framework or something. You can see it. It goes down to here. Notice right here, there's like almost this white square right here. Put it right in the middle of the screen so you see what I'm talking about. Right there. Okay. There's an object right here to the left of it. I'll put it right smack dab in the middle of the screen right here. Whoop. Right there. Check that out. But that's not the only thing, folks. There's things laying on the ground here that clearly are not natural. Here's another example. This piece right here, I'm going to put it right in the middle. It appears to be a piece doing this. It's going straight across, and it has a thicker end right there, like it's like a silver or gray. And goes down right here. There's also other pieces in this pile here. Here. What's this white object sitting right here? It looks like it's got like this 90 degree corner right there. Right here. And a whiter piece sitting right there. We got a white piece sticking directly out here. Now it's a possibility there's a rock here and the sun's shining right through there. Very good possibility. But folks, without further ado, let's just jump right into Photoshop. Okay, here's the photo. Now, folks, we're just going to brighten this up. We're going to take you through each stage, and then we're going to go to black and white and then check this out further. Okay, a little brighter. Again, we'll move into this. This is the objects I'm looking at. One right here. The one to the left and just to the back of it. We got this piece here. We have something right here. And then it ends with some kind of thicker piece. looks like machinery. We have this right here. Almost looks squared off. Other pieces down here. You can see it right in here. Okay. What's weird is they try... Well, it's not weird because it's, it's common practice. What they do is they make it look like it's almost flat, relatively anyway, but it's actually layered stuff here, folks. Here's that pot I was telling you about down here. I'd make it right in the middle of the screen, right about here, this part right here. Again, I have a thicker silver or gray piece that looks reflective. Let's just keep going in this. Okay, so I made it darker to see if I can pull out anything to get more depth out of it as opposed to a 2D, right? And now we have this piece here. Again, look at this piece right here. Check this out. Okay, but it appears to be doing this. Okay, right to the left and up. There's another piece sitting here. Again, we're going to keep an eye on these pieces right here. This piece right here. And then we're going to get into this rubble and see if that's actually just rock. So anything that's white, we're going to try to make whiter. It. And now if you look closely, especially over here, just in these two pieces alone, look at those and study those. 
Okay? The lines are actually there. See that? They're there. We'll just brighten them up and get them to pop a little more. We have this long object or objects because there's something here. You see this right here? And then it keeps going all the way down. Look at the small parts within this circle up here. This object in here, or multiple objects, we'll see that a little bit better. Okay, let's keep going. Tone down the color just a little bit. And then bring up the brightness a little bit more. Now we can see this piece right here, or well, the two of these. We can see this object right in here. This piece down here. Again. All these little pieces up here. And again, we have this piece right here. Or pieces. It's hard to tell. Let's get into the black and white and stop pulling this stuff out a little bit better. We don't want the colors fooling us or messing with our eyes. Okay. Again, here. Here. Notice I've tried to bring out this a little bit better on this side, on the left-hand side. And you can see some detail there. Like this thing's doing this here. And then over. Let's keep going. Here we go with another fake rock right here. You can just tell the way that looks, folks. It just looks so wrong. It just looks completely faked. So let's keep going with it. Wait a minute. How come I can see through these rocks? Doesn't make any sense. But that's the whole idea. That's there to, to block it out, right? Let's keep going. Back it up a little bit. We'll bring out a lot more detail here on the pile, we'll call it. All right here. I'm going to make that so you guys can see all this. Again, as always, pause it. Have a better look. Folks, look at the stuff back here. Suddenly, in this area, it has multi-layered stuff right here. Now, I'm going to show you this part up close in a second. Let's keep going. Stuff on the pile on this hill is not without fragments or some kind of objects laying there. Okay, so here's the full enhancement. Now we're going to go from right to left in this. Just the objects in here alone, folks. Come on. This piece right here. Now it's not going to be super clear because, again, we had an overlay. We had to do our best to cut through. Okay? But you can see little bits and pieces. Objects on the ground. Something laying right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. But it seems to be some big object. This piece right here on the right. You can see it almost looks like this weird half round object or three quarter round object right there. What looks like a box right here. Some kind of weird object. All this in the back, folks. This thing was pretty intriguing here, right? Looks like it's doing this. We have this, what looks like this small piece like this. Some other piece of of this object like this. And it looks like it's kind of like going out from each other. And something's right here. You really can't see because of the manipulation that they did on this. Okay. So this object right here has multiple objects sitting right there. This part alone clearly is not a rock. You can see that. These off to the left. One here. Other objects just laying there. On the ground here. And if we go right to this side, you can see this object here continues up, as I said earlier. Right there. And then we have these objects right here. Folks, come on. Look at this. This is just crazy, the stuff that's in here. Okay, we can't really see where it goes from there. It just kind of stops right here. But we can see other lines and parts of the object. It looks like it does this a couple of times, and then it kind of goes, drops down. Up here, round piece, round piece. And then you have other objects coming off of it, right? Look at these objects. Now, this fuzz you see over this is actual manipulation. So by using the dodge tool, we can pull a lot of these out. This object down here. Go over to here. Now you can see these objects. They literally, you can see the pots will go underneath the manipulation because you can still see the white pots faintly, but they're under there. 
This thing was pretty wild. I'm not sure what to even make of this. This right here. Folks, what is this thing? I'm not even sure what to even make of this. But we got these lines going like this. I was thinking something drapes down right here. Not even sure what to make of that. See that? It kind of drapes over the edge of this. Again, not sure what that is. All the objects laying right here. You can see what they tried to do is cover most of this up with this manipulation to try to hide what this stuff is, right? This right here. It looks like framework, folks. This doesn't look like something you'd see in a pile of rocks. Not sure what to make of this thing. If it's a rock at all. This right here. You can see that. Let's suppose for a moment that there's a bunch of rocks here. Clearly, these are not all rocks. This may be rubble from a structure. I have something way down here. And again, we can see these objects. And folks, they're just doing this with computers now. The CGI and the masking of all of these things. Look at this right here. This is wild on the left. Looks like framework of something. This piece right here, you can see where they went over this. You can see white, 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 and it goes like this. And again in here. These pieces here are just really wild. Just phenomenal. Mock them all here. They got pieces up here. Like I said, it's part of this other object. I'm not even sure what to make of this thing. Now let's look at this in the raw photo. Now they can say, oh, those are sand dunes. You can say that if you like, but people know better. Look at this, just this alone. What makes people think that's a rock? Look at the way these shapes of these weird objects are. And of course, like I said, these here. That's just crazy, folks. Bounce over to here. And again, we can see what looks like a bunch of rubble laying right here on the ground. And again, we do have this part right here. This is no rock. This is a joke. You can see right through it, whatever that is. See right here, the, the very edge of that rock? See it? Right there, you can still see it's white. So clearly they did something. They put something over this to hide what it really is, but they forgot that particular edge. See that? But you can bring out something else in there. You know? And again, these weird objects, and there's tons of it, folks. All right here. Look at these objects in here. Again, I've already said this one. These here, something right in here. This is wild. What are we looking at? I'm going to back up, let you guys get an overall. I'm going to do full screen black and white. Right there. Now, folks... Again, get out your magnifiers and your eyepieces, pause it right here, and have a good look at this stuff, this debris laying on the ground. Now, we're going to go full color, but this is not full enhancement. But this will give you a little bit of an idea, all of the stuff here on the left-hand side that's highlighted, as far as in the white, you can have a better look at this and see that clearly they're definitely trying to hide something. And there you go back to the color. And again, the black and white is the complete enhancement. Let's get rid of this. Folks, pause it. Have a good look. Right there. Again, have a better look. And there you go, folks. Folks, when I look at that pile, I see twisted metal. I see what looks like parts of machines. Just like we saw just to the left of it, we had done in a prior video. There's stuff littered all over the place. But again, make the photo darker. Put a manipulation over everything. Hide all the details. Mask as much as you can of it. And you'd be none the wiser. They look like just simple rocks. I decided, you know what? Let's just look at the, the surrounding areas. And what did I find? More stuff. And like I said, between those two areas, it looks like some kind of divot in the ground, like something either A, caved in, or it was bombed 
one of the two. Must have been a small bomb, but you get the idea. Either way, it sunk in between there like it was hit with something. Hmm, interesting. So, again, when I look at it, I see what looks like stuff torn apart. Bits and pieces of whatever it is, like electronics, machinery, something. And a lot of that is not even rocks. All that brown all over it is not sand or what you think it is. It's a manipulation to cover what's really there. And, and that's the key. Bring the stuff out. Instead of being sections of 2D, now we have it in 3D. And we can see what looks like boxes of some kind of something that's at the top, and it's bringing itself down, meaning it's coming down like bits and pieces of it. What this stuff is, I have no clue. There's no way to know, only speculate, right? Anyway, folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And, folks, by the way, when you see the next video, it's going to blow your socks off. Why? This is a brand new photo, and it was taken by satellite on a certain part of Mars. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, it's kind of a lousy photo from, from space. It's about 250 miles up, right? When you see it, it looks very vague, washed out, typical. Listen, I know that these satellites can take much better photos, and yet they look like trash. Hmm. I'm definitely going to dive into this and find out what's in here. And by God, when I did, wait until you see it. You'll love it. Anyway, folks, if you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please do so. Please like and share. Like I said, give it a thumbs up. And folks, if you're already subbed to the channel, go back and check to make sure that you are actually subbed to the channel. And make sure you click that little box that says view all or be notified of all videos coming out. For some reason, people are not getting these notifications. You need to make sure that you're still subbed to the channel. For some reason, they have this knack of just knocking people off so you get less views. Imagine that, which I could never understand because basically, you know, they're hurting themselves because they're not getting as many people watching the videos, therefore less revenue for them. You get the idea. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.